Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright, it's a consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax coat, which we're now hoping to launch uh, beginning of December, um, January, sorry, 2023, with it being uh, Christmas period. Um, it was just, we don't often run training courses um, in December because of the Christmas holidays and festive breaks. So um, we've just decided to launch in the new year now. It just makes more sense in the first quarter. So um, if you are on our mailing list, we will be emailing you soon. If you want to be added to our mailing list because you are interested in the wax coat, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. So interestingly, this case is of a, a colleague, a fellow audiologist who I've known for years and they attend um, perennially really every year to have their earwax removed and they have got quite a narrow ear canal and a very bendy ear canal. Um, I'm just commencing here, I think it's their left ear, we shall see in a moment. Um, and I'm just using the 4.25 millimeter speculum here to dilate the ear canal. But in hindsight, I should have probably used the, the smaller one, a 3.5, which I did in the, the other ear. Um, in fact, I use it in a moment to visualize the eardrum because it was so narrow. There we are. And you can see there's a bit of skin at the bottom. Uh, I just left that because that would have clarinetted and we don't... Uh, clarinetting is when you suction skin. Um, quite often it can violently flap. And that is it's quite a... It's one of those pieces of skin with experience. I know it's going to violently flap. Uh, it's non-occluding. And the skin can then... Uh, the clarinetting it elicits a very high, loud high-frequency squeal, which is deafening not only for the patient but for myself. So I've just here attached the 3.5 millimeter speculum, a smaller one, just so we can um, actually get into the ear because it's so narrow and bendy. And you can see the eardrum there. Um, the audiologist, is, as I said, is a colleague. Um, they've, uh, they were quite uh, impressed by... They've been watching the videos for years and years and years and they're fully aware of the eye clear scope, but they understand the concept of the wax scope and um, they were saying that uh, they are a paediatric audiologist and they just wished how if they were able to use the wax scoping clinic, uh, which there's nothing stopping them once it's released, because the, the view it provides, it's they're still um, using a handheld otoscope. Uh, and they, it's, I mean, looking back when I was doing my training, when I used to use an otoscope, it's, it's I'm, I'm, I just wish that all universities now or institutions that train audiologists use endoscopes or in fact the wax scope to visualize the eggs. it just gives you so much more detail um, uh, they do have also used loops before and uh, to remove wax in fact and uh, they said the view with the wax scope is just far superior and of course even with the eye clear scope is even even superior so you can see how we've been clearing this ear and again just just this 3.5 millimeter specular we're using uh, just some lateral wax and skin the anterior canal wall, so I've just got it in focus. And I'm just gently mopping this away. And their cartilage was quite, um, quite, quite thick and quite rigid, so even to stretch the ear out um, with my um, hand prior to insert into speculum was it's quite a task. Was it wasn't uh, very weak cartilage, very strong, sturdy cartilage, and it was very difficult to lift back and retract upwards in order to straighten and widen the canal. So there we are, I'm just going to insert the speculum in, I'm going to get the, uh, the, the tympanic membrane in focus, so it's all visible, you can see uh, the short process there, the, the manubrium, the umbo, the light reflex, the annulus, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, and if you are interested in the wax gate, please do feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.